Welcome to Tie and Cake Bills. I hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tie and Gig Builds. Just tie today again with another tech episode. Well, that didn't go smoothly. Today we're gonna make the overlowered bear. <laughs> How do I explain what he does? Silence! Today we're gonna to be making a Raspberry Pi character. In this case, we're choosing a bear. And so the bear's gonna have its own personality, he's gonna control some things in the house, and he's gonna be able to speak. So the thing that we want this bear to do is basically control the lights in the house. To do that, we got these Sengled LEDs. We have the home base set up. Uh, I'll walk through that later, how these LEDs are set up. But basically, it's just a smart light. You can control it from uh, Google Home and Alexa, etc. We're gonna use a Raspberry Pi to control this. We also need a mic because the, the bear needs to recognize speech, and so we're gonna be able to send commands to the bear and he's gonna react accordingly. We need a Raspberry Pi to control this thing. We need WS2812B LEDs, the one and only, the best LEDs. And so these will actually be the eyes of the bear and the back of the bear. You need a pair of speakers. We're gonna use aux auxiliary connection. You could use Bluetooth. I've had trouble setting up Bluetooth with Raspberry Pis, but we have an aux, so we're gonna use that. Just today, we're gonna to set up the bear to control the lights in the home. He'll be able to recognize speech in order to do that, and he'll also be communicating with us with his bear type personality. So just to start, I'm gonna hook up these WS2812B LEDs to the Raspberry Pi. If you wanna know the details of how to hook it up, you can watch my previous video on how to hook it up for a message board. It's very simple. Basically, we're just gonna step up the voltage from the Raspberry Pi from 3.3 volts to five volts. After we hook up the lights, we're gonna put the mic in so we can recognize speech. We're gonna hook up the LEDs to the living room, and then we're gonna hook up auxiliary cable directly to the speaker so he'll be able to output sound. Let's do it. Great, so I just got finished building the circuit and I tested everything, the prototype looks good so there's no shorts. We're gonna pack this thing in the back of the bear and see how that goes. Looking good. I think I'm gonna add some more cut out in the back so it reflects a little more, but I love it. Little hiccup here, but it's not gonna stop us. Basically, we put it up, looks good, works. Only issue is you can't control the back lights and the audio at the same time because the lights are controlled by PWM signal and so is the audio jack. So, I bought an adapter. And we're gonna try out this USB audio adapter. Mm -hmm. um, Little, I didn't see it coming, but. Well, look, if, for you diehard Pi fans, you know exactly what he means. For your regular, typical viewer, okay, we need the output to be able to do audio and lights. Okay, those come from the same PMW, is that what it was? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
<laughs> you're typical beeper. <laughs> Listen to expert games. Yeah, so if it doesn't easy. work, I have a plan B. It's not a graceful plan B, but there but is, is a plan, plan B. B. Yes, okay. Exactly. And a lot of you have probably dealt with a plan B before. I'm gonna do a few voiceovers for the bear. We're doing it right through Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna just adjust the pitch a little bit and make this guy sound a little bit sinister, make him sound like a boss man in the building. So everybody else pays attention, listens to his commands, okay? Welcome to Tie and Gig Builds. I'm your host, Mr. Bear. <laughs> okay, sounds pretty good. All right, we put everything in. Everything's functioning, the eyes work, you can control the colors in the back. We got him to control the lights in the room. He can understand voices and he's able to speak to us through the speaker. So the USB card did work. So what I did is I programmed him to basically choose between two people in a dispute. You give him two names and he's gonna say the victor of that dispute. The names we chose are people that live in this house and the way that he calculates who the winner is is based on the weight of the names. I'm not going to go through the code because it's very custom to what I'm doing. I'll link it in the description if you're interested in looking at it. My roommates don't know is that uh, each person has their own weight so the probability of someone winning is higher for certain people and lower for other people. <laughs> let's, let's just demo it and see how, how it goes. Mr. Bear, I summon you. It's Angeline. Is that Angeline? Wow, you've been doing great work. There's a dispute between Greg and Joey. Oh, a dispute? How about I settle this? Joey is the winner. Wow. It works. I think, yeah, I think the audio is not perfect, so sometimes it's, you know, it gets tripped up, but the speech recognition is pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this one this week. It is not as technical as I usually do, but I hope it gives you an idea of what a Raspberry Pi is capable of in terms of controlling lights in your house, playing MP3 files from Python code, and also speech recognition. Since it is so custom, I'm not going to go through the code line by line or file by file. I will answer any questions though you leave in the comments. I really enjoyed this build. I really like how this guy came out. It's, <laughs> I think it's going to be a great addition to the home. We're going to add some more characters like him and I'm really excited to see where that goes. We're probably going to do some different features too as well as not only controlling lights but maybe controlling other functionality in the house. So stay tuned if you're interested. Uh, consider watching our similar content and subscribing. We have a lot more coming. Next week we got a woodworking one. The week after that we got a tech one. Until next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.